We begin tonight with construction on a dangerous stretch of Route 20 in Oxford. The state has stepped up the timeline to improve safety there. It comes after a fatal accident claiming the lives of a mother and her infant son. Monday marks day one of new construction to improve safety along this stretch of Route 20 in Oxford. The work follows two serious accidents, including one where a mother and her infant son were killed. It's too bad these people are getting hurt. The population is getting more densely or coming around here more, and it's going to cause more problems. It's a shame that people have to die for before something's done about it. Oxford residents are happy something is being done to this dangerous curve, but say it comes at a high cost. That should have been done a long time ago. There's been a lot of accidents there. We recognize that this corner is very dangerous. And again, because of the accident, emergency measures were able to be put into place. State Representative Paul Frost says the original construction plan to fix the road was scheduled for 2025, but the fatal accident led to emergency provisions, including widening the road and adding a guardrail. This will try to do its best to prevent head-ons and, and things of that nature, people crossing into the other lane of oncoming traffic and hopefully will slow some people down. Frost says the road will be widened by 10 feet. He says currently this part of Route 20 is not wide enough to install Jersey barriers to separate traffic. He hopes this will be part of the 2025 construction plan. We own that 2025 is too long, but we're all trying to work together to find a way to get this project in its entirety expedited. I want to see a nice divider go up in there. Now there is a meeting tonight at Oxford High School where residents will get a chance to voice their concerns about the roadway.